YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another video from Fantasy Good Sports, guys. And today's video is going to be on 10 sleepers that you must add before your first playoff game. Yes, guys, I got 10 sleepers. Now, listen, I'm going to talk about some obvious sleepers before I get into some of my regular sleepers, right? These are some guys that I, I think y'all know that they should be picked up, but maybe not. So, with no further ado, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This is Cutting Edge Content. Okay, so, guys, three obvious guys. Ezekiel Elliott. I'm pretty sure he's not on your waivers, guys. He is a must pick up. He should be on your team. And most leagues, he, he should be starting. All right? I'm not, I don't, it just depends on your team. I'm not going to tell you to sit like a CMC for him or anything. But he should be starting. He's at least a, he's a high-end RB2. And, or a high-end flex, depending on your league format. Another guy is Ty Chandler. Ty Chandler is starting this week, guys. Alexander Madison is out for the week, so you should be starting Ty Chandler. Um, another guy is Antonio Gibson with Brian Robinson. Now, even if Brian Robinson plays, Antonio Gibson still is a high-end flex. So, guys, these are three obvious guys that's not part of my 10 list. This is kind of like a bonus guy. So, thank you for watching the video. But here's three bonus guys that you should know that these are sleepers and they are starters right now, right? They are starters. Now, the sleepers, I'm going to tell you, these are kind of like stash guys, guys that you should be stashing that could have an opportunity to start on any team, depending on what happens for these next couple of weeks for your playoff run. So let me get a drink of water and we can start. Okay, so... The first guy that you should be stashing that's a sleeper, guys, is a wide receiver is Jalen Hyatt. I know he didn't have a good, great game last week. It doesn't matter. Tommy DeVito is playing really well, and I want to get any weapons that have a potential to break out a part of that Giants team. So I love Jalen Hyatt. He's a boom-bust guy. Stash him because you might have to play him in week 17 or even next week. Right, I'm not saying you can. You got to play them this week. And listen, I'm playing them this week in some of my leagues. But it just depends on how many star stars or studs I got in my league format. Moving on to my number two guy is Darnell Mooney. Yes, guys, Darnell Mooney. Listen, Justin Fields is playing well. I know they playing the Browns this week, but I'm still playing him in a couple deep leagues that I have. Also, I'm stashing Darnell Mooney. I don't want to see Darnell Mooney on any waivers. The reason why. Because Justin Fields is elite offense, and guys that play on elite offense can have boom games. So if you look in, if you lost a wide receiver, you hit Keenan Allen, going to guys like Darnell Mooney, is, to me, is not bad because you can get some boom, right? It might be other better guys on your team, but I don't mind playing a boom guy like a Darnell Mooney. Moving on to my number three guy is Quentin Johnson. Yes, Justin Herbert is hurt and out for the rest of the season, but I still believe Quentin Johnson can have some boom games. He is a rookie. He, he's really athletic. He's having a drop problem, but that doesn't mean that I'm not willing to play him as a flex play or stash him on my team. That way I'm playing defense against other teams that can pick him up and beat me, especially if you're a top seed. You don't want a number six seed picking up a guy like a Quentin Johnson or Darnell Mooney or Jalen Hyatt, and they're going 30 point, 40 point, 30 point, 40 points against you, and you lose. That's why you stash some of these guys, guys that you can or guys that might have an opportunity to play. Moving on to my fourth guy is Jonathan Domingo. I love Jonathan Domingo. He had eight, nine targets. It just wasn't good targets. I'm still stashing him, and I'm still willing to play him as a flex play. Again, same stuff I'm telling you. These are just my stash guys. He's playing the Falcons this week. Falcons got a good defense, but I'm still willing to stash Domingo and play him if I have to. Moving on to my number five guy is Chase Brown. Yes, mixing his look really good. Yes, they are pushing the ball. Uh, well, they're not pushing the ball downfield, but they're hitting some some big plays against other teams. I'm still holding Chase Brown, even though he could be a boom bust guy. I still like stash stashing Chase Brown in case something happened to uh, Mixon. Moving on to my number six guy, Jameer White. Yes, Josh Jacobs could play tonight. I don't care. I'm still stashing Jameer White. They could sit Josh Jacobs out the last week of the season because they don't have anything to play for. Maybe Josh don't even want to play or whatever it is. I'm still stashing guys like Jameer White going against the Chargers. Uh, going on to my number seven guy is Keaton Mitchell. Yes, guys, Keaton Mitchell. And the reason why I like Keaton Mitchell, he's part of explosive Baltimore offense where Lamar is balling out. So you're going to try to take away Lamar. You're going to try to take away big plays. That's going to help Keaton Mitchell. Keaton Mitchell is the number one running back on that depth try. He's not getting all the carries, but he's getting uh, a nice little amount of them. Got three more guys. 
Next guy's Demarcus Robinson. Yes, guys, Demarcus Robinson. Uh, guys, he's taking over for Tutu Atwell, and Matthew Stafford needs a number three wide receiver because guys are doubling uh, Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua. So that's going to leave Demarcus Robinson for single coverage. He's actually a really good start this week. He's going against the Washington Commanders. They get, that pass defense is weak, the weakest defense in that whole league. So you can start Demarcus Robinson this week, but he's definitely a stash. These guys should not be on your waivers. All right, two more guys. Next guy is Michael Wilson. Michael Wilson been um, hurt for about three weeks now, and he's probably going to have an opportunity to play against the 49ers for the Arizona Cardinals. I'm stashing Michael Wilson. Let's see what happens. If him and Kyle got a chemistry, the next week you got something good, right? Or you might play defense. You don't want a number six or a number five seed picking that up or a number eight seed or number seven seed, depending on your league format. And beating you with a guy like this. That's why you have to pick up guys. You got to keep working the waiver wires. I don't care if you got to buy or not. You got to keep working the waiver wires. And last but not least, guys, is Hunter Henry from the uh, New England Patriots. And they play in the Chiefs. Chiefs got a good defense. I don't care. Bailey Zappi look good. I'm not saying he's a world beater, but he looked good. So I'm playing guys. Uh, I'm willing to play a guy like Hunter Henry and Zico Eller. I think these guys are going to have some really nice targets and a nice... Uh, matchup against Kansas City because of people sleeping on the passing ability of Bailey Zappi. So that's why you got to pick up these guys. You're going always, ah, oh, they're playing against Kansas City and it's New England. All those guys suck. No, you don't look at it that way. You stash these type of guys. You never know what can happen. And you don't never know if somebody's going to play one of these guys against you and they boom and you be upset and you lose off of uh, a sleeper going for 30 point, 40 points. So guys, thank y'all for tuning in to Fantasy Good Sports. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This is cutting edge content. Peace.